Well, hey there. How's it going? Whoops, where's my deck? Here it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, where's my deck? Where's my horse and pfeffer? <laughs> God, Bugs Bunny. Just so many, so many really good references came out of Bugs Bunny. Everything I know about opera came out of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Everything I know about opera. I know. Seriously. All right. Let's see where we go. This is for whoever needs this message. If you're watching this video, there's likely a message in here for you. I will do an extended version uh, for you. Um, that link is below if you'd like to follow that. Thank you for joining the channel. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, so let's get started. Let's see where we go here. Mr. Charlie is settled down now. I was doing a basic business class trying to figure out your ideas and he and Rose were just crazy both nights. But fortunately the class was great. So we're gonna, we're gonna do more of that. The uh, spiritual business class uh, master class starts September 22nd. If you're looking to turn your calling, uh, your spiritual path into your livelihood, be there, be square. The link is below for you. Also, if you want to learn how to read tarot, if that's part of your plan, I um, offer you, there's a class I teach, and that link is below, too. All right, let's see where we go. For whoever needs this message. <sighs> For whoever needs this message, please. All right, all right, all right. To the, whoopsie, to the sea. By the book. thinker so this does feel to me like um standing in your life right now standing in what's going on looking for inspiration um it can feel like you're in a box or it can feel like your um your life isn't it's just very rote or something something like that it's just very predictable and you know kind of humdrum i feel like the um some of you may be actively like going to the ocean and meditating. Some of you may be going to on a meditation retreat or doing one for yourself. That's a really cool thing to do while we, while uh, many of us are in quarantine or in lockdown or whatever, wherever you are, whatever's going on. If you're spending a lot of time at home, which I certainly am, um, doing a meditation retreat for yourself can really uh, move you in a direction that is more positive for yourself. I get the feeling that some of you feel like you're just in a box, feel like you're in a rut, okay? And, uh, you know, you're trying to think your way out of it, trying to feel your way out of it. Let's see where we go here. Queen of Cups underneath, looking at this Ace of Wands, looking for inspiration, okay? The Strength card, overcoming it, making decisions, love showing up. Okay, I love showing up. So being inspired, you could be dealing with a Leo, feeling inspired, overcoming um, this rut, okay? Two of Wands, Two of Cups. Very interesting. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. What I'm seeing, wow, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. A brand new offer, Nine of Swords. What, what? Hierophant, King of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Oh my goodness. Something is going off sideways here. Chariot, Lovers, Six of Cups. All right, so I feel like both of you, both of you are feeling hurt and feeling some rejection. You could feel like this is stuck. This connection is stuck. Um, one of you f wanted an offer from this person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right, one of, one of you wanted an offer, and I don't think you got it. Okay, I don't think you got it. Um, ex expectations were high. All right, this other person may still be married. Uh, Taurus, energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Woo, UPS man. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and this person is kind of heartbroken. I feel like um, 
we'll, we'll clarify that a little bit. But for the connection, I feel like you do want to move forward with this person, Six of Cups. I think they will be back around, okay? Six of Cups makes me feel like that, that they're finally making a choice. They're finally making a decision. This is Two of, Wand uh, two of Wands over here and making a decision to come back, to come back around. Uh, I feel like there's some there's love on your part here you might feel this person is a twin flame okay and so looking for inspiration could be you know coming out of your Cancer Pisces Scorpio or you can be just in this watery energy of feelings lots of feelings here there's passion strength overcoming um and being inspired to overcome the past and really seeking love so you could be like you know what this person didn't give me my offer so you know away with you off with your head i'm going to move on to somebody else okay this person could still be married and they are um in this place of heartbrokenness that you might be moving on from them moving forward toward lovers toward um a past life soulmate here I'm not seeing any feelings from this king of Pentacles other than feeling heartbreak feelings ten of swords seven of cups five of wands yeah this person is wound up tight tighter than a Swiss watch okay this person um, feels the ending of this connection and they're very sad about it okay seven of cups five of wands they're confused why it, why it ended or why it's ending i feel like you might have ended it because you didn't get what you wanted you didn't get the inspiration or the passion or the offer you didn't get any feelings from this person this person is wound up pretty tight they're not letting their feelings show at all they're not they're afraid of their feelings this person is afraid of their feelings and so they lost the connection with you um, because they weren't willing to experience their feelings their feelings are too deep um, too scary for them all right um, there's a lot of uh, signs here there's a there's a water sign this person could be married to a water sign um, that they're holding on to for fin for financial reasons they're holding on to it they're, and it's ended the relationship with you okay they're still there they're still in this other relationship all right so I feel like um, what could be interesting here is I feel like the cancer Pisces Scorpio person may be maybe moving on maybe not choosing this maybe choosing to get out of this relationship okay two of wands really wanting love and I feel like this person is staying in a relationship for financial reasons. I think that water sign is going to be like, you know what? That sucks. I don't like that. That's not why I want to stay. I want to stay so we can have love again. And I feel like this person is like, well, that's not why I'm staying. I'm staying because of financial stability. Okay. But this person in terms of you, so this is a triangle. This is definitely a love triangle. This person is, um, feeling uh, hurt and heartbreak they know it's over and it's sad they feel very sad about it um, they feel conflicted about it they could have deep feelings but they're not letting themselves feel it they could have feelings for you they're not letting themselves feel any kind of feelings so I feel like uh, <laughs> you guys are you might be making a choice to move forward all right, making a choice to move on. The Cancer, I think maybe a Cancerian here, might be also moving on. They might have found passion with a Leo or a fire sign. But this earth sign is entrenched in staying the course. I want to stay where I am. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to tell you anything. I don't want to tell you anything. And I do feel like the water sign is hoping for true love. So wherever that comes from, hoping for true love and passion. You, I feel, you could be the water sign, but I feel like you are somebody who 
expected a loving offer and you didn't get it from this person. They, um, they might have offered sex or they might have offered um, companionship, friendship, or something like that. And I really feel like that was devastating, okay? I feel like that was very um, hurtful. King of Wands. Empress. King of Swords. And Cups. Wow. Death. There's definitely a triangle here, and I feel like you have a lot of choice here. I feel like they're, this person, all four kings are here now. And I feel like instead of expecting this offer from this person and not getting it, right? Didn't get it. Um, now you're free. You're free of this. All right. You're free to move on. And this, this is over with this person. Okay. So you're free to move on. Chariot, lovers, six of cups. Um, this new person could be coming in. I see, I, I see a lot here. I'm going to do, a, I'm going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of um, Zodiac in the extended. The water sign, this person, this person, where you're going. I feel like you could be going toward a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Gemini. A Cancer, a Scorpio, a Gemini, a Libra, or and Taurus, okay? So that's what this feels like. And, and this person who is very entrenched and very stuck is hurt that you're leaving them, that you're walking away from them. Even though they didn't give you what, what you wanted, the fact that you're moving in a direction is, um, they feel sad about that. They feel hurt about that. They could also, they could also know that there's three people here and by doing nothing, by standing still, um, they thought they were gonna get everything they wanted. Okay, they thought that they were going to have both of those people still stay. Here's the thing. The water sign I feel like is leaving, and I feel like you are leaving too. You have a lot of choice. A lot of choice ahead. King of Wands, King of Swords, King of Cups. And if this is your energy here, if you're really taking some action, being inspired to take action, loving action, uh, insightful, visionary, right? All of these things for yourself and being the empress here <laughs> being the empress you are transforming out of this situation it's like you're not um you're not letting this get you down too long okay like that person just decided they didn't want to move they're stuck and they're stuck on purpose okay it's not like oh i can't find my way out i'm so confused I feel like this person sowed the seeds of confusion to both parties here. And the Queen of Cups is like, hey, I want some new inspiration. I want hot passion. I want love. You are like, I want deep connection. I want insightfulness. I want transformation. And this person's like, well, you know, I'm just going to stand my ground. Which one of you wants me? I don't think either one. <laughs> I don't think either one is going to be beating down the door to get that person. Okay. I think that that's what makes them sad. It's not necessarily that they hurt you or hurt anybody else. I think what makes them sad is that nobody's sticking around. Okay. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. Like I said, there's a lot here. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. All right. There's a lot here. All right, I'm going to continue on with this reading. The link is below for you. I'll see where this goes. See you over there.